Out the hit for Toby. Looks it oh. high in the air. Sagan will catch up to it. Try to chop it in front. Knock the stick of white cloud right out of his hands. And another penalty coming up as Domi knocks down Hag. They'll go to box and he might draw some more as well. Well, this particular incident had about 35 to 45 seconds to saute. I mean, it basically started in the Vegas end, worked its way all the way down into the hash marks of the Dallas end, and then has it just came about. Dovey dumped the puck in and went right into Haig's corner. Here's down low below the net. And Haig is kind of leaning on Domi, leaning on Domi. They both fall down and both slow to get up. But it looked like they were going to separate. And they do. And then Domi's asking him, why isn't that a holding penalty or whatever? But they come up twice. They're not even talking to one another. And then, you know, a little conversation there, a little conversation there, and nothing. And this is going to work itself all the way back into the other end. And eventually, Domi now takes the cross checking penalty as he catches number 14 right on the numbers. Domi gets well, the four gets minutes after, into right? 10. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, Haig kind of was baiting him in there, and I don't think Haig did much, but the referees are going to try to, as Haig's telling him, hey, great job, great job, gives him the thumbs up. Because it, it, it's not going to take a lot to set off a Dallas Stars player, right? And set the fans off. We've got debris coming down from the stands onto the ice here. Yeah, and this is so unnecessary. This will, they'll probably send the players to the locker rooms with 21.6 seconds left. I think that would be the smart thing to do because they're throwing, you know, heavy objects here. Some of uh, yeah, we just had some French fries going on the ice. And, yeah, they're going to have to send them to the locker room and they'll just play this extra 21.6 seconds. I, I believe that's what they should do. Yeah, that may be exactly what they'll to have to do these, here. Yeah, to drag these players out while well, they spend 10 minutes to clean this up. I mean, they've got, you know, a lot of work to get done here, and the safety of the players. I would, I would, I would, I would just let this, let this go to the third period, and that's maybe what they're talking to uh, New York or Toronto about. Is you want me to just bury this 21-6 into the third? And, and, and look, if you watch the play for what it is. The first play with Hagen Domi, it was not really much, and they didn't get all on one another there. And they are going to do that. They're going to end the period here and send everyone to the dressing room. Calm the crowd down too a yeah. little bit. You know, it's still it's oh! not, not, not a lot. Here's the dumping, and then Domi comes in, and it's all numbers, right? It's all numbers on Hague. That's a penalty, no doubt about it. Now he wants to draw one back from Hague, see if he can't even it up, but he can't. Hague won't do it. Heg gets a roughing penalty. I haven't seen Heg throw a punch. I haven't seen him do anything. So we got two minutes for receiving. So they'll go to the dressing rooms with 21.6 left on the clock.